Hello to another week of Mr Murphy's Maths uh, for the children in my maths group. I hope you had a really good weekend and had a, a good week of learning last week. Um, now we're going to be doing the same this week. I'm going to go through some of the arithmetic um, material that you'll be answering on a daily basis before you then go on to your main area of learning. This week is all to do with fractions and there are links to videos on there. So make sure that uh, you're looking at the plan and then following any web links that there are there to support with your learning there. So uh, for our arithmetic for Monday, we're going to be looking at halving numbers, um, including those of decimals. Now, another thing that we've done before, but really good for reinforcement. Um, now, as you probably noticed, it's a little bit different. You can't see me uh, this time, but because of circumstances, I'm not able to um, video myself at the moment, so I'll have to do it uh, this way, but hopefully uh, it will be okay. So let's have a look at the first one. Uh, 421, and it's asking us to half it. Right, there's a number of ways that you could do it. Uh, you could do it by a written method of division and dividing 421 by 2, or you could partition 421 and with that partitioning divide those numbers by 2 and then add those up together to get your answer. So we're going to choose the second option of partitioning. So let's have a look then. So let's partition 421. Let's partition it first into 400. So half of 400 we know is 200. We're then going to partition our, into our 10. So 20, half of 20 is 10. And then we partition 1. Now we know it's going to be a decimal number because we half 1 is going to end up as a decimal. So that is going to be 0. 0.5. Now, now we've partitioned or halved every one of those. What we need to do now is add those up together. So if we add all of those together, 200 plus 10 plus 0.5, we get 210.5. How do we know that we're correct? Well, if we double 210, we get 420. If we double 0 0.5 we get 1. Okay let's have a look at the next example then. 22.4 again exactly the same let's partition it. Now we don't need to partition the tens and the ones we don't need to we could think well if we half 22 we know we get 11. Okay? And then now we're dealing with a decimal number so if we partition 0 0.4 and we divide that by 2 we know that we have got 0 0.2 okay now we've done that we can add those together to get our answer of 11.2 how do i know that i'm right well if i double 11 i get 22 and if i double 0 0.2 i get 0 0.4 so then i know that i am right This is an opportunity for you to have a go. So have a look at the two questions here. Pause the video and have a go at your own. And then once you've had a go, start the video up again and I will be going through how we get the answers. Well done for having a go, children. Let's have a look at them then. So the first one, 245. So a couple of ways you may have looked at it. You may have partitioned it into um, hundreds, tens, Fives, you may partition it into the hundred and tens together, which I'm going to do here. Um, the main thing is that you get the same answer, but we do know that there's different ways of going about this. So I'm going to half 240. Well, half of 240 is 120. I've now got five left, so I've got to half five. Well, half of five is 2.5. So what is my answer? Well, I need to add these two together. So 120 plus 2.5 is 122.5. And we always check, don't we? Well, how do we know that we're right? Well, if I double 122, I get 244. If I double 0 0.5, that makes 1. So 244 plus 1 is 230, uh, 245. Well done if you've got that one right. Let's have a look at the last one then. 12.6. Now again, a couple of ways that you may have done that. Um, some of you have probably thought, well, I can just half 12.6 mentally. That's absolutely fine. Some of you may have partitioned it, and that's what I'm going to do. So let's partition the 12 
and a 0 0.6. So half of 12 is 6. And then we look at, well, what is half of 0 0.6? Well, half of 0 0.6 is 0 0.3. So how do we get our answer? Well, we add those together. So 6 plus 0 0.3 is 6.3. How do we know that we've got that correct? Well, again, we can do the inverse. If we double 6, we get 12. If we double 0 0.3, we get 0 0.6. So we know that we are correct. Well done if you got that one right. Now, like we did last week, there's this question down here which is highlighted. That's just indicating to you that in your arithmetic starter for today, that is going to be the question which relates to halving numbers. So have a good go at those and then move on to the main part of the lesson to do the fractions using those video links which are really important to help you go. Best of luck everybody, I will see you tomorrow.